Elliot, my sweet boy. <laughs> Why do you shrink from your father's loving embrace? Uh, because it's embarrassing. You want a little help, please? <laughs> this is the first time we've been together in so long. Would it be right for me to intrude on your bonding time? Unless, however, Dad gets too carried away, in which case you should expect a severe scolding later. Here's my mother more with each passing day, Fiona. Hello, friends. My name is Shrine, and it's time for the Legend of Heroes, Trails of Cold Steel. And I'm gonna, hopefully, try my best to finish this game. We shall see, we shall see. Oh! Tomas. And his friend. And Gwen! Nice. How cute. Oh! Irina. Carl. Oh, Elliot Spare, his dad and his sister. How cute. So cute. Aw, Victor. And Klaus. Oh, and Rufus. Wow. They all came. <laughs> Toval. That's so cute. All ready to sing and dance and play instruments. Good, good. It shouldn't feel any different than our rehearsals. The only real difference is that all the space out there will be filled with a crowd of people. Eh, that's the worst part. Oh, no, no, no. You're not getting out of this now. The girl's got to be brave. Hurrah! Time to go out there and knock those boys dead with our sexy wink. You says, Marcus, how you guys feeling? I'm fine, but everything except this pairing. Well, at least we agree on something. Huh. If we've got the energy to bicker, we've got the energy to do this show. Looking at us now, you'd never guess at the ordeal we went through last night. You're telling me. What happened with the night? That gray night in the depths of the old schoolhouse was enormous. It looks like it has proper joints, so I doubt it's just a statue. I bet it can move, just like those archaisms the terrorists are using. Hmm, an astute assessment. The question then who left it there and for what purpose they must have been down there for hundreds of years at the very least wow that's a lot of time in fact the last the latest that could have been placed there was the dark ages yes that's true it certainly isn't something that could be created at the level of technology we have today but is it really okay to leave it with the instructors I feel like we should, I don't know, investigate it or something? Well, we didn't really have any other option. We have enough on our plate at, with this concert as it is. Yeah. My mother and grandfather should be coming later today, so we can always ask them to look, take a look. Well, for now, you guys just stay focused on the concert. Your family should be here pretty soon, right? Uh, oh, is it that late already? Yeah, it is. Guess it is almost time for my dad to show up. Hmm, I guess I better go out to meet my brother. I suppose I should excuse myself as well. Okay, see y'all before the main event. Alright, give your, my best to your families. Aw, that's sweet. Okay, guess it's time to head down to the horse race and see who's looking to place a friendly wager or three. Wow, Crow, you never change. Today's visitors seem even more well off than yesterday, so I should be able to net myself a little spending cash. Come on, Fee! Mishy Panic's calling our names! I won't let you beat my top score! You're on. Later, Reen. Emma. Alright, I'll catch you later. Now go check causing too much trouble for later class, did you hear? And Crow, at least try to keep the gambling in moderation, okay? Uh, moderation, such a familiar sounding word. And be sure not to fill up on sweets. I don't want you to make yourself sick before the concert. Yeah. Aye aye, ma'am! Aw, so cute!
What are they going to talk about? Your little sister should be here soon, too, right? Yeah. I told her to meet her by the front gate around 10. She said she might run a little late, though, so I think I have some time. <laughs> she seemed really forward to looking forward to her visit. I'm sure she'll enjoy seeing the festival with you. Huh. If I can make it through the morning without her nitpicking me, it'll be a minor miracle. Are you going to check in on with the literature club? I am. I feel bad leaving everything to Dorothy. I think I'll walk around the campus with Celine, too, though. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> Aren't you going to ask about Celine and me? Not to mention everything that happened last night. <laughs> well, like Maki said, we have enough on our plate with this concert right now. I just want to spend this morning talking in the festival of Elise. And then be ready to go, go for a concert this afternoon. I mean. Besides, it's not like you and Celine know everything there is to know about the old school halls either, right? I caught a couple of last times last night and you seemed like you were as surprised as the rest of us. You noticed that, huh? He did. You're right. Though, there's still plenty about that building we don't know either. And as for that armor slipping the depths, I only know a few ancient legends regarding it. I see. Still, would you be willing to share what you know with us after the festival's over? I would. I'm afraid I won't be able to share everything. But I'll be able to tell you a fair amount. That's good enough for me. I'm glad you're here, Fasema. Let's give the crowd a real show to remember this afternoon. Of course. Let's do it. Hi, Emma. Alright, Elise said she'd be coming around 10. I've still got a little while before she shows up, so I guess I'll wander around the festival for a while. Rain? Oh, I thought it was that weird noise of his heart. George said he was going to stay down in the old schoolhouse, studying our find from last night. Maybe I should take him something to eat. He seemed so excited, he probably forgot to take any food. Probably. Thinking something sweet? A pie, maybe? Just hope to have... I just have to hope I can make a good guess what, what he'd like. Oh, well, that's nice, Reen. Just want an excuse to go back down there. I can save! Not that many in sa chapter 6. Wow. Wow. Okay. That was cool. Hey, Rex. Yo, I've heard all about those outfits. You got ready for the ladies. You just leave it to me. I'll be snapping so many pictures, your head will spin. This mini concert's gonna be awesome. <laughs> it is. Perhaps you arrived too early. They aren't even letting people in yet. Too early? Don't be ridiculous. We're going to be the first ones in and get the very best seats. And once we're there, we can eliminate all the men who would dare to gaze at Lady Laura with their lecherous eyes. Indeed, we must protect Lady Laura at all costs. Oh my gosh, you three. On your left, you'll see the auditorium. What performances this afternoon will be held there? You can bet they're going to be great. Aww. Last one is doing an operetta this year, correct? Ha! Huh. Admiral of them to keep practicing until the day before their performance. I apologize to class 7, but my support is going to them this year. Well, I'm not buying from you. Oh! Nice! Oh! Eusis, Rufus, Machius, and Carl. Still, I heard young Machius greet Ray's place him comfortably at the top of his class. He must be incredibly proud. I'm certainly pleased from an academic perspective, but I'm amazed by Eusis' balance of academics and athleticism. And despite his many achievements, he's always looked so calm and composed. He clearly took after you in that regard. <laughs> oh, they're both embarrassed. That's great. Well, I can't say I saw this coming. I've heard that the two of them will be singing together during Class 7's concert. What would you say to sitting together during the performance? It only seems fitting after all. Y you can't be serious. 
<laughs> what a marvelous idea. I wouldn't be happy to. I can only hope that my son doesn't bring your brother any embarrassment on stage. But Dad! They're from opposing factions, but I guess their duties here would have them interacting quite a bit. It actually seems like they're pretty good friends, too. That was so cute. What a headache. I wouldn't have imagined these two would get along so well. Are they seriously planning on going around the festival together? <laughs> Come on, guys. I don't think it's that so bad. I see two important figures from opposing factions getting along. You two should try it sometime. Absolutely not. Aw, oh, you guys. It's been, what, a month since we last met? I heard that things took a turn for the unpleasant after my departure from Rower, however. Oh, yeah. Oh, come now. You don't need to hold back around me. In this place, I'm not but an academy director. And by extension, one of the many people praying for this festival success. That much, I can guarantee you. I never had a shred of doubt about that. Hope you enjoy our performance. Every last one of us is working hard to make it something special. Even you, sis. They might tell you otherwise. I expect as much. Aww. I can hardly wait for your class performance, Reen. I'm still a little dumbstruck that Machius, of all people, took on a sinking role. <laughs> now there's something I wish I could have shown my niece. Sir, Machius, myself, and the entirety of Class 7 are doing everything we can to make this concert up to remember. Hope they enjoy it. That's good to hear, and I'm sure we will. Good luck up there. Aw, everything's back up. Okay, back at the company then. I'm surprised you managed to find the time to make it over here. Especially in everything that's happening in Crossbell. As I've told you before, time is something you make, not something you find. And as a member of the board of directors, the Academy Festival is exactly what I needed to make time for. How else would I be able to see how the Academy is run? My, what impressive time management. I really hope your logistical wizardry helps you put the pieces of my company back together. What's supposed to be a jab at my new self-supporting accounting system? You may not have noticed, but times have changed. Increasing efficiency is the only way to, of corporate can remain successful. Corporation. Your policies might have worked when you were the chairman, but they do nothing but hurt the company they enacted today. Well, any other deficiency make communication and cooperation between divisions so much harder. That's what happens when a corporation develops and grows. A problem, perhaps, but a necessary one. Bah. Huh. Uh, will you two just drop it? You haven't seen each other in five years, and the first thing you do is start arguing? <laughs> I'm from overjoyed to see how well these two still get along. Well? What do you mean, well? Are they not the same people? I think this might actually be how they get along. Ow. Pretty excited about the performance of yours. Especially. Ah, oh, Gwen. Especially after the kid with the bandana told me about the sexy outfits the girls would be wearing. Yeah. It'd be a good chance to see how my little granddaughter's been filling out. Oh, no. Lorene, who's the gal to keep my eye on, uh, my, uh, my gut saying it's Emma. Uh. Perhaps this isn't the best time to have having this conversation, like ever. Ever, old man. No, oh, yes, your class is planning on some sort of performance, correct? We will play into our discussion as to how with class to deal with class 7 next year. They focus on that, not on global events you have no influence over. Yes, ma'am. We'll do what we can to meet your, meet your expectations and exceed them. It seems like she's even concerned about what's going on Crossbell. He is, of course. I plan on guiding the chairman and Master Gwyn around the festival after this. <laughs> Quite some time has passed since they last saw one another. As such, I believe that it is only appropriate to allow them to enjoy themselves here. Oh, nice. Ah. I hope they'd be going to behave since they haven't seen each other in so long, but how wrong was I? They look like they're getting along pretty well to me, though. Being able to argue like that is part of being a family, I think. Really? Oh, I suppose it's better to argue than not talk to each other at all. Maybe. Haha. <laughs> Don't you try and stop me, Mar Makarov. I'm going to see men's class no matter what. Hold up, I told you I'd take you. Don't just wander off on your own. You should get lost on a one-way street. You get lost whenever the two of us went anywhere together. And whose fault was that? Oh, gosh. Good day. Allow me to humbly welcome you to thought. You're not from the board of directors at all. What's a class 7 student like you doing here? Don't you have a concert to perform? 
We should be focusing on that rather than gallivanting around campus. Dang, Principal, calm down, Vice Principal. You better not expect a sympathetic ear from me once all of your stalking causes class one and we really obl obliterate you. Wow. I didn't eat that lecture. Yeah, yes. Haha. <laughs> Look at them both taking it all in. Especially Toma. This is the first time he set foot outside the Highlands after all. Oh, wow. Haha. <laughs> you can almost see his eyes sparkling. I'm glad he's having a great time. Same here. My decision to come to Thoris means that now Toma has been able to see another part of the world for himself. Who knows? Perhaps it's the way the winds and the goddess want it to be. I'm planning to around the academy for now. It was the guidance of the winds and goddess that have made this all possible. They are my thanks. Bean! It's good to see you again. Sorry to bother you at the blue. Glad to see you two could make it all the way out here. Haha. <laughs> Why don't you two ran into trouble on the way here? What happened? Well, we stayed the night in our my house in Heimdall yesterday, you see. Then Toma here thought it'd be a great idea to get lost while exploring the city. It wasn't my fault. How was I supposed to know it was going to be so big? Or be so full of people? Don't worry, I had the same reaction when I first visited. <laughs> At least they found you safe and sound. How are things back in Nord? But here it's hard not to feel the tension at the crossbow border, but I'm curious if it's the same there. To be honest, it hasn't really had any effect on Nord. Should things take a turn for the worse, Cinder gated her to act. Tenant General Vander seems to have a handle on the situation, though. He also got permission to go through really quickly. Sounds like we have a lot to thank him for. Indeed, I hope I'll have the chance to do some personally at some point. But that's enough of the serious talk. You have a good time today, both of you. Will do. Yeah! He's very skillful. Hey, Charles. Is carving these statues some sort of custom for girls of the Empire? Uh huh, I'm going to say no. What they call an art club. It's a place where people with a passion for the arts gather and improve their skills. Ah, so that explains why she's so good. <laughs> He's so excited, you could have taken him for a little child. Not that I'm any more composed, it's my first time in Academy Festival too. Huh, look all you want. I will. Oh, Elliot and his family, how cute! I'm excited. Elliot, my sweet boy! <laughs> Why do you shrink from your father's loving embrace? Uh, because it's embarrassing. You want a little help, please? <laughs> this is the first time we've been together in so long. Would it be right for me to intrude on your bonding time? Unless, however, Dad gets too carried away. In which case, you should expect a severe scolding later. Uh. Here's my mother more with each passing day, Fiona. <laughs> Looks like Fiona rose the roost here. Oh, Reen. Nice to see you too, Reen. It's been too long. Agreed. Thank you for coming, Lieutenant General. I know you're incredibly busy. Think nothing of it. Nothing in the world could keep me from seeing my beloved son take the stage by storm. Admittedly. This does make things more difficult for Nighthearts. He's at Grilly Fortress right now, right? That he is. I left him in charge of maintaining contact with the other armored divisions. If our circumstances weren't quite so precarious, I would have allowed him to remain here to attend the festival. But I bet anything, he'd be a commander someday, so I figured he might as well get some good experience in. I suppose so. Things must be really tense over at Crossbell. <sighs> No, no sympathy for your subordinates, I see. Yes, merciless, merciless aside. Best of luck on your performance, Elliot. Better put on a show that will leave even the stubborn old man flabbergasted. Uh, old man. <laughs> I'll definitely try. Besides, I'm going to prove that I've come a long way since I first entered the academy. And the rest of us here will be there to help you do so. Darwin. My dad's being as usual over affecting itself. With both of him and my sister here, I feel like more pumped up about our concert. Let's give him a real surprise by making it the greatest show they've ever seen. Sounds like a plan to me. Oh, idios. I know I don't deserve to see Elliot's performance today. It was I who denied him his chance to pursue his dream. But what sort of father would I be if I wasn't there to celebrate my dear son's moment in the spotlight? God, goddess, I entreat you, please. Oh, okay. Okay. He seems extremely concerned about what to do. 
<laughs> I can only imagine what practice must have been rather demanding with Elliot involved. It was. Music is the sole area in which he demands nothing less than perfection. <laughs> That's certainly been our experience. But without him, things would never would have like, shaped up as well they did. I'm not sure performance is up to the standards of a trained pianist. Not to worry. Music performance is less about the skill of the performers and than the feelings they put into it. I am certain your performance will be breathtaking as if all of your thoughts are as one on stage. That's what I hope to hear. We'll try to let you down. Oh, these two. Uh, th this is some great pie, isn't it? It really is. Reminds me of the pies your mom used to bake for us. <laughs> it really does. Nothing in town. Nobody in town makes better pies. Oh, they have a little date. Oh, these two up here. Hey, guys. Oh, here you are. Ain't you already done looking at the attractions? Not a chance! We're just taking an itsy bitty little break. We're locked in a death match. The upper hand is mine. You're not taking me down that easily. I've turned the tables before and I will turn the tables again. I don't know if I've ever seen you this serious, Milliam. <laughs> I'm gonna win and tell Lecter all about it later. I'll brag to him sooner. But he couldn't end up making it to the festival. That captain from the intelligence division? Yeah, he went off to Crossbell this morning. And once again, Milliam casually reveals most of your secrets to everyone within a earshot. <laughs> Milliam. Wow, what could have happened that they needed him in the crossbow so quickly? Things must be really bad over there. I can rematch after this fee. I'm not letting you win. Fine, but no using Lammy. The yellows who break the machine. I get it, I get it. Do you really? The rooftop's the best. And I want a nap. <laughs> I don't think I know anyone who loves anything as much as you love naps. Hmm. This might be my last chance to for a good rooftop nap, too. Even just concerned about what's happening in Crossbell. Aww. I don't like this academy. Everyone here is a monster. <laughs> oh. Emma. Oh, what? All of them are here. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just here to find that Machias. Aww, there's no need to be so embarrassed. We're all friends here. Indeed. You're among kindred spirits. You can be honest with us. That was as mock as if you were a pitcher or a... <gasps> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Fanfic terms. Fanfic terms. I know those terms. No. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's great. That's great. <laughs> so, is this... Oh, my gosh. So it's a smock use if you was a pitcher or a catcher. Get, get away from me, you freaks! Oh my gosh, wow. It's better to be honest about yourself and risk embarrassment than live a lie fearing what people will think of you. Nothing good comes from hiding your true self from those around you. Honestly, it's the best policy. More people need to realize that. Oh, that was great. And you know the kindred spirit joins our ranks. How wonderful! Uh-huh. Oh, there she is. It seems we have some new face in our club today. On top of that, our book's been selling very well. Oh, that's good. We should see our customers lined up when I tell them what it's really about. How sweet is it have kindred spirits? Yeah. Yeah, that. It's been some time, Reen. It really has, Viscount Arsade. Good to see you. I see you brought Klaus with you. I wouldn't miss Lady Leader's concert even all the bones were broken and had to drag myself to this academy. Ah, that's a creepy thought, okay? Ah, I understand Klaus's appearance, but you have more important matters to attend to than a school concert, Father. I'm glad to see you that both of you made it, but I would be a lie to say I'm not worried. He has a point. Was it okay for you to leave the courageous? Your fears are misplaced. The situation aboard aboard may be somewhat shaky. That was abroad. But the Courageous isn't a military vessel. While I'm the crew think it's regrettable that we've reached this point, it's not our place to intervene. We intend to escort Prince Oliver to the police talks, nothing more, nothing less. I see. That's what's going on in Crossfell. However, our duty does not change the fact that we are here for a brief surprise. Please purge all thoughts of political machinations 
from your mind and enjoy yourself while you're here. I thought exactly. In fact, I'd like to take this opportunity to finally explore your academy. Would you mind guiding us around, Laura? If you so desire. <laughs> Have a good time, you three. Aw, it's cute. My father seems as busy as ever, but I'm glad he's here doing he's doing well. Well then I suppose I should show him on campus. I must say, Reen, you have a certain look about you today. The look of a man who's overcome a great burden. It's incredible that you can read all that from my face alone. Last night, all class seven pitted against something none of us would ever imagine. We didn't let it stop us. He combined our strength and ultimately managed to take it down. Yeah. Well, that would certainly explain my daughter's joyful expression today. That or perhaps her upcoming performance. performance. If your class coordinates well enough to topple challenges like that, I can hardly imagine what you'll do with a concert. He won't let you down. Yeah. How fortunate we are to have Lady Laura guide us around the academy. I, for one, am looking forward to seeing what sort of place this is. Me too. I'm looking forward to seeing y'all happy here. Did I talk to everybody? I'm gonna think of it. Isn't George down the seventh floor? I've still got a while before Elise arrives. Maybe I should take him something to eat. Descend to seven. The floor seven. Elise should be close now, so I better see George and head back before she gets here. Or she wanders in here again. That's pretty cool. Kind of scary. Going here by himself. Oh, there it is. Crow's here. Thought you were going to be racetrack, Crow. Okay. Hey there, guys. <laughs> That's cute. Oh, what's up, Reen? I see curiosity got the better of you, too, eh? <laughs> no helping that, I guess. I wondered if maybe you'd found out anything about it. Oh, I brought you a little something to eat, too. Oh, thanks. I was just thinking I could use a little sugary pick-me-up to get my brain back on track. Nice, it worked. Oh, well, you got food in his hand, nice. Ah, this is that new dark cherry pie I've heard about. It's supposed to be delicious. And really filling, too. Oh, thanks. I'm feeling all fired up now. Oh, they showed him eating it. Nice. Or num num numbing on it. You seem pretty taken with this thing, huh? He is. Can't say I blame you, though. Yeah, it's really amazing. Whatever it is. So, what do we know so far? I'm glad you asked. The deeper I look into it, the more fascinating it seems. It's not just a statue or anything like that. You can see those joints. This thing's clearly capable of movement. And on top of that, it's made of, well, something I can hardly even begin to describe. Some unknown metal, then. It's definitely not iron. And it's not one of those recently discovered special alloys, either. It's some kind of fiendishly strong material that has properties of both metals and ceramics. If you knew how to manufacture it, you'd rake in so much money it'd make your head spin. Wow. You think there's a possibility that it might be an ancient artifact? You mean like something from the era before the Septian calendar? I can't rule out the possibility, but in this case, my gut's telling me no. Artifacts are like black boxes. Not only do we not know what they're made from, we don't even know how they were made. This thing at least shows signs it was put together by some exceptionally skilled craftsmen and engineers. You can see it most clearly in the ornamental detailing and the joints. I see what you're talking about. Still, that basically sums up everything I do know. I've got no idea when it was made or who could even have built it. It'd help if we could at least figure out something about whoever piloted it, but no such luck there. Pilot? Piloted? You're telling me someone's actually supposed to crawl inside this thing? <laughs> yep, crawl inside. Well, the measurements I've taken seem to indicate a hollow area in the chest, and it's just the right size to accommodate a single person. If I could just find some way to get it open. Man, it's hard to imagine that some crazy person used to strap themselves inside this thing and run around.
Yeah, that's that's pretty interesting. Jellica would be happier than a pig in a mud hole if she could see this. Really a pig in a mud hole? <laughs> no doubt about that. It's not looking like she'll be able to make it to the festival, though. It's sad things ended up the way they did. Hey, hey, don't you guys go getting all weepy on me now. It's still morning. I'll bet she'll just turn up out of nowhere this afternoon like nothing even happened. And then she'll waltz right into the after party and round up all the hottest babes for herself. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Still sore, are we? It feels like so long ago now. To think that was just last year. You're right, though. It's hard to imagine her just staying put when she knows there's a party going on. I mean, I'm not trying to get my hopes up too much, but this is Angie we're talking about. <laughs> You got that right. But hey, the festival's in full swing. We should be seeing the sights, not poking around down here. What do you say the three of us cruise the campus and see if we can score some honeys? <laughs> no can do. My sister should be showing up soon, and I promised I'd show her around. Anyway, I'll catch you guys later. All right, have fun. I think I'll pass on the honey hunting, but I guess it's a good time to pack it in for today. I don't want to miss your concert later. I'm looking forward to seeing what you've been practicing all this time. Well, I hope we don't disappoint. That's cool. Thanks for the pie, it was delicious. Oh yeah, that reminds me. I ordered a few too many of these the other day. I'm not taking a few off my hands. What is it? Oh, thanks. Haha, <laughs> thanks for the sharing. Hey, no problem. Good luck up on stage. <laughs> 